the trip mechanism work in an MPCB? Stay with us to find out. The protection system of a motor protection circuit breaker, MPCB, is divided into three parts. One, short circuit protection. Two, overload protection. Three, phase loss protection. We'll explain each of these in detail. We've already shown the internal components of an MPCB. You can watch it through the link above. First, let's take a look at how the MPCB operates. On screen, you can see components such as moving contacts, trigger cleat, main beam, spring, start and stop handles. Notice how pressing the start handle connects the moving contacts to the fixed contacts, allowing current to flow. There are two ways to turn off the MPCB. One, pressing the stop button. Second, activation of the protective units. The trigger cleat is a critical component. When it rotates, it releases the energy stored in the spring, causing the MPCB to trip instantly. Pay close attention to see how this part functions to disconnect the breaker. Each protective unit can rotate the trigger cleat, leading to a trip. Let's explore the protective units, starting with short circuit protection. Each phase can independently issue a trip command. In each phase's path, there's a solenoid that responds to short circuit currents. If the equipment is properly selected, the short circuit current will be high enough to activate the solenoid. This current flows through the solenoid, as shown on screen, causing the plunger to move up and trigger the connected lever. Inside the MPCB, there's a durable plastic component called the trigger plate, which transfers the lever's force to the trigger cleat. Any lever from any phase can pull the trigger plate down. This downward motion rotates the trigger cleat. As mentioned earlier, when the MPCB is in the on position, rotating the trigger cleat will cause it to trip. If you liked the video so far, like it and subscribe to our channel. Next, let's examine the overload protection unit. In this unit, each phase has a bimetal strip. When current flows through these strips, they heat up and bend. If the current exceeds the set limit, the strips bend significantly, moving the differential trip slide, which rotates the trigger cleat. The differential trip slide has a unique mechanism. Its behavior changes depending on whether one, two, or three phases carry current. If the MPCB is carrying single phase or two phase current, the bimetal strips won't bend equally. This mechanism ensures a trip command can still be issued, even if the current is below the set value. Here are some important notes. The short circuit current threshold in an MPCB is fixed. The overload current threshold can be adjusted using the current setting dial. By increasing the setting, the bimetal strips will need to bend more before the MPCB trips. Note that under conditions where current flows through one or two phases and its amplitude is very low, the switch will not trip. Finally, there's a manual trip lever built into the MPCB that allows you to turn it off if needed. We hope this video has been helpful in expanding your knowledge. Please subscribe to our channel, ring the bell for notifications, and share our content with your friends.